Today, we're gonna check out episode 12 of Delicious in Dungeon. Look at but before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel so you can check out more of these reactions. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you can find a few links down in the description, like, I don't know, a link to my second channel where I do non-anime reactions, just in case you're interested in those. And you can find a link to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash joefreshes, where I do seasonal anime reactions live on stream. Not for everything, you know, a few days out of the week. I just lump a bunch of stuff in together and then we do these reactions. I'm just sitting here watching anime with the community and I absolutely love it. You should stop by if you're interested in joining in. They're gonna end up changing the OP, right? I don't know if it'll be next week or the week after, but it's gonna happen for sure. Hello, sister. Yeah, bitch. Ew, putting that hand to your face like that. Wait, what? Oh, no. Is there any way we can get remember the ring? What if she had the ring? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just I just I she's not gonna die, right? Like, but how is she not dying? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, but I specialize in the study of ancient magic that's forbidden now. Oh! Oh, I like that. There's no good or evil magic. Magic's just magic, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, do that shit. Run that shit, Marcel. But is there any chance we could take some of the dragon flesh to not be used so we could cook it up and eat it later? Right, Lyles? But we haven't eaten dragon. No, don't you dare. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Yo, look at the reaction of both of them. One of them's like, no, what the fuck are you doing? The other one's like, yeah, do it. Look, look I just, I just like for a split second, notice it out of the corner of my eye. Look, 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 look. They're both confused by it, right? He wants to bring back the warg too, so that way he could eat the warg. Obviously. We, we know Lyos, right? But look, look, look. They're both like, wait, what do you mean? And, and look at the eyebrows too. I'd say that, that Senshi's eyebrows are more like this. Whereas uh, Chilchuck's eyebrows are kind of like a, like a, like a, hmm? So he's just kind of like, I don't know. I, in this. Yeah, see, he's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Do that shit. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> this is so interesting. Dude, this is so interesting. One of the reasons though, why I love this show so damn much. This show does not get enough credit for these little details. They are rebuilding the, the, the skeletal structures because in order to use this resurrection, resurrection magic, the person should be as close to their normal form as possible. So you set up the skeleton to be how it should be. She's gonna end up having like a dog, a dog leg or something for, for, uh, for an arm. But you set them up to be as close as possible. And, and you're separating the wargs too because you want them to be as close to possible so that way you can, you can distinguish, oh, this is a warg bone, this is a, a human bone, and just kind of get everything. I love that. And they're just looking, well, oh, I remember that the vertebrae, you know, the spine of, of a dog is like this, but the spine of a human is like this, the rib cage is, and then this bone here, it could be this, and that's so great, these little details. It's puzzles, bro. I love puzzles. He's, yeah, it's literally a puzzle for him, dude. He's having fun. Uh, there's the, the bones over there of the wargs. <laughs> they got good calcium. Oh, true. Damn it! So they don't get to eat the warg. How much of this dragon are they going to eat, though? Oh shit. 
Oh, shit. Yo, the animation is crazy on this right now, too. Bam! Oh! Holy shit. She was digested. Holy shit, dude. This is crazy. They did it. It worked. You fucking did it, Marcel! Oh, her best friend. And look how much leftover dragon there is, bro. Let's go. I gotta say, they should have used some of the intestine to, to make the fuck. But okay, cool. I hopefully we keep a lot of flesh. We can eat it. If you are unconscious for too long and you wake up and there's so much going on, like you're like, what the fuck is happening? And I can imagine like people with comas are like that, right? It takes you a long time to recover from that stuff. She's been dead. <laughs> She's been dead for X amount of time. She ain't been in a coma for like seven days. It's been a, it's death. <laughs> time to eat the dragon that ate you. This motherfucker's gonna be in our bellies like you were in his. No. Damn it, we need this, okay? It's been too long since something, I don't know, but... Okay, she's feeling up on her a little bit there. Bro, she ain't been sleeping, doing any... Yeah, she has been struggling. I mean, you've been struggling too. You've been fucking in a belly, but... Damn. Giving you some magic. Could it because? Could it? Could it? Could it because? Could it? Could it be because she did the forbidden resurrection on her? True. 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 You gotta think of it like um physical therapy. You know, like you gotta do a little bit of you know kind of working back in to get right to get perfectly back to normal. Like it's not an easy thing. It's not just. I'm fine. I was resurrected. Like, bro, you were a, literally a skeleton and a mass of flesh. That's it. Yes, you did. You did. You don't remember how you died? Namari and Shuro abandoned us. We don't like them anymore. There is no good or evil magic. Tell her. Yeah, if it didn't work out, it would have been worse. Where is it? Oh, is this just a random bath? Oh, because they are in a city. This is probably just a random bath in that city now that I think about it. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, this, trust me, when I say that we've got stories, <laughs> there's a lot of stories. You still, I love, I love this little detail. I love the little detail of him literally just scratching that the 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 cut. He did say it felt itchy, right? On the inside or whatever. And he's still scratching the the cut on his leg where it was put back together. Little details, dude. I love them. 
ってやつじゃないだろうな面倒なことにならなきゃいいぞ誰がダークエルフだああああああああああああああ Hey, somebody was talking. I remember there was a comment. Somebody was mad at me because I said that the, the one fucking elf was a dark elf or whatever, right? They're like, oh, what's a dark elf? I don't remember what they said, but they were fucking mad about it. Hold on. I, I might be able to pull this shit up, dude. 20 minutes later. But this at least establishes that there are dark elves. I'm just saying. Oh, that's interesting. Even recovery magic can be used for torture. Yeah, because you can hurt somebody, heal them up, hurt them more, heal them up, hurt them more. You're going to keep on feeling the pain. That's interesting. Good. <laughs> He's like, ah, fuck it. I'm done. I'm done complaining and getting mad. I get to cook a dragon. I get to cook a dragon. That's literally Senshi right now, bro. <laughs> See, I told you, dude. I get to cook a dragon. <laughs> bro, initially they said they wanted to go down here and beat this dragon so they could save his sister. And he's like, all right, I'll go with you. I can cook a dragon. Like, yeah, dude. Oh, sir, you're in the way. Near the dragon. <laughs> when we open up the dragon, we open its. Oh no! <laughs> well, there goes the dragon. <laughs> The spirits, Falin. Good shit, Falin. <gasps> She's OP now. She's OP now. She can do it without chanting. <gasps> She can do chantless magic, uh, uh, incantationless magic. Bro, now they're spirit healer defender person. Oh. My dragon is gone now. He's making pizzas? What is this? Oh my god, there's so much food to it. That the fucking dragon tail soup? Phenomenal looking. What is that? Delicious. We got dragon tail soup. Onion pizza roast red dragon. Oh my god. That looks so delicious, little man. You are missing out. Because we are not in this anime. We cannot eat it. Oh, I bet that's bussing right now. You know what? I want pizza. I might I might have to eat some pizza. What's up, bro? You're gonna tear up my shirt, sir. What are you doing? Mm. Bro, I bet that food is a bus. Really chewy, but the taste is oddly familiar. <laughs> I love it, dude. Dude, he is a food connoisseur, dude. He is he is truly in the gourmet world. Right? <laughs> Senshi over there just rocking like, yeah, he, he gets it. He understands what it means. The fine dining of dungeon gourmet. 
Yeah, Filene, this is a new side of him that's been unlocked. Laos is like, I'm so proud of my sister. She would also eat all the monsters too. That's Kensuke. <laughs> He's trying to fight her. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. They gonna cook his sword. That was weird. There's something underneath. Dude, seeing dead people like whispering with spirits and stuff, kind of wild. Aww, you'll always be my little girl. Aww, they're such good friends. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, Falling kind of big, bro. She like, uh, I mean, she ain't um Nomura, Nomura, whatever her name is, but she does look. She gives off like, you could tell she got similar genetics to our boy. Yeah, stop scratching that. Oh. To save you, stupid. True. True. Hey, little man. Stop. No, there's there's nothing for you to chase on my on my screen, please. She was the first one to like kind of dive in there and sacrifice herself a little bit. Didn't she, like, she, I think in episode one, she pushed Laos out of the way, and then she got out, right? <laughs> the, the frog suit. The frog suit. <laughs> Why is the frog suit there? Oh. Y'all want to see her walk up to the driving lane? Bitch. Beat your ass, bitch. It's the Dark Magician. It is the Magician! <gasps> I fucking told you! I told you! I told you he was the one that created everything. I said this shit from the moment we saw him in the painting. I knew it, all right? Whatever kind of elf he is, if it even fucking matters, he was the palace mage, if you will, right? I think something along those lines, right? So he was probably the most powerful magic user in that kingdom. And he, one day, for whatever reason, probably after like too many people died or they were being attacked or maybe when the dragon showed up, the, I don't know what exactly it is. For some reason, he created the dungeon. It might be because one day the dragon attacked them and in order to save the, the kingdom and everybody else, he had to turn the kingdom and everything into a dungeon. Maybe he had to do that in order to stop the dragon from killing everybody, you know? Or there's some other reason. I don't fucking know. Maybe them killing the dragon is result is gonna result in him, like, him thanking them or something, you know? I don't exactly know. But I knew that he was the guy that did it. This was a great episode, finishing off everything. They, uh, Falling's back. That's great. And we also find out that uh, Marseille actually specializes in forbidden magic, dark magic, as it was referred to. And she also says that magic isn't good or evil. So dark magic, no, black magic, black magic, not dark magic, sorry. Uh, d black magic, it's all just, it's forbidden magic, I think, more than anything. I don't think that black magic, she says it's not evil, so it could just be all the forbidden stuff is considered black magic, right? They cook up the dragon, that's cool. Senshi's so happy about it, I love that. Falling's resurrected through some black magic. And now Falling seems to be even stronger than before. She can now do incantationless magic, which means maybe all of us need to get fucking bodied and then brought back. That's that way we all can do better magic. But then again, now that I think about it, 
Senshi doesn't do magic, and they don't do magic. I, I guess the only two that do magic is Marseille and Falling, so it doesn't really matter for them now that I think about it. Anyways, what do you guys think about the episode? Let me know down in the comments. How do you feel about the magic spell that brought her back, that whole sequence? Obviously, the connection, the friendship between Falling and Marseille, that getting reestablished. The sibling, like the brother, sisterhood, whatever, between Laios and, and Falling. And we get to see more of that and and um, just everything. So many cool things in this episode. So many interesting details. I love all the little details that go into the show. The animation, phenomenal as well. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. And if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe because liking and commenting, it helps with the algorithm and recommends this to other people so they can enjoy too. Subscribing, that's for me. You know, I would appreciate more subscribers. So you could be one of those people that subscribes. Just saying. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.